Well, we made it back here. This is on Sunday morning, and we have made it back from West Virginia from the GNCC 2021 awards banquet. Uh, we left, uh, the banquet was, uh, what, Friday night, I guess, and uh, we left out of there at 7 o'clock Saturday morning. We ended up having to drive into Georgia to pick up six golf carts where we left the truck and trailer. And uh, anyway, got back home last night here at 2.30 uh, this morning. And uh, we're out here, uh, gotta get some things done on the quad. So we said we were not gonna work on quads until first of the year. Well, that's all changed because we've got a lot of work to do. And uh, also going to the awards banquet lets us know that uh, we wanna be in the number one spot. So, uh, so we gotta go to work. And uh, so we're here today, uh, I don't know what the date is, but in the middle of December. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on some of this stuff. Uh, Kyla and Brandon are out here working and they have a, uh, a writing school next Saturday and Sunday at Kroom. Uh, I think there's like 20 people coming. So uh, they're gonna be over there. Uh, Brandon is gonna be one of the instructors and Kyla is gonna be one of the students. So we're here, uh, they're just uh, here prepping four wheelers and that kind of stuff. So um, go over here and see what they're doing. So, so hey guys, I just told them that basically what's happening is we just got back and uh, we're ready to, we gotta get the radiators out, get them cleaned. Um, the last time we ran these were what, FTR? Florida Star Riders and uh, both quads ran a little bit hot. This one actually ran really hot. Well, I mean, uh, they're on the left. Yeah, anyway, uh, and Kyla won. Kyla won the race and uh, her bike ran a little warm too. So uh, as you guys know, uh, the kind of racing we do, we got to pull the radiators out and wash them and clean them. So uh, it's time to do that. And uh, that is what's going on today. So um, so how'd you guys like the awards banquet? It's a long, long? long it was a long drive. Yeah, it was cool though. It was fun. And so basically we left out of here and drove up there, did the awards banquet, turn around and come right back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it was... Uh, we're in the truck more than we were at the water banquet. Yeah, so we we we're exhausted and uh, um, still still sleep deprived or whatever. But uh, anyway, you guys are excited to be back to be wrenching, so right? Yeah, uh, want to get them running now. And they both did start up, which is good. And uh, we've not had the battery maintainers on them, so uh, anyway. Um, but anyway, that, that's that's our projects today. Is uh, we're going to try to get these radiators out and get these things cleaned up. And uh, uh, we got uh, CJ still got some of the stuff in here and um, um, from some of the motor stuff and all that. And uh, so uh, the race car is still sitting here. We're going to get after it too. But anyway, just uh, we're a little tight for room. And uh, uh, but we got to get some of this stuff done and get it accomplished. Here's the dogs over there. They're already wore out. Look at the other one laying up under here. Um, so. Uh, we got back this morning and let them out and they've running around and uh, they are exhausted. I want to tell you another thing too. Uh, what's the temperature, Kyla? 85? It's hotter than all get out here. Uh, we left West Virginia, had jackets on and they're traveling. And uh, when we got here this morning, uh, we got the fans running in here and uh, it is very hot. So I uh, uh, already missed the weather from up north. So, all right, let's get after these radios, get them clean. Yes. Is it dirty? A little bit? <laughs> so let me see, Brian. Oh, yeah, it's a little dirty. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to get this radio out here and get this thing cleaned up. Uh, we got some, um, but anyway, this thing is, uh, oh, you can't hardly see that, but uh, anyway. Um, Got some uh, purple power that I'm gonna spray on there and uh, hit it with the pressure washer. And uh, uh, to be honest with you, probably probably needs a new one. The the fence, some of the fins are bent over, but uh, uh, let's get it cleaned up and we'll look at it and then we'll decide what we want. You have to hold that over. Those things are the devil, aren't they? Yeah, putting them back in is not very fun. Making the mouth's not that bad. Putting them back yeah. in is not. You still got all the pink stuff on there from uh, 
October. What are you sniffling for? Something, Is it the weather? Something's getting me today. <laughs> yeah, my allergies I was actually doing that this morning too. trying to get this little hose clamp here off there but uh, boy this thing is nasty I don't know if you guys can see that but um, there is all kinds of dirt and build up and debris and that kind of stuff but what size is it it's got like a little uh, well no it's actually a small you know you use a flathead And get half the toolbox out. <laughs> so let's take it laying on the table and we'll pull the fan off of it. All right, so we got the got the Canon Renegade radiator out and got it in my hand here. Oh boy. So uh, yeah, this thing's pretty filthy too. As you can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but uh, uh, Let's get some degreaser sprayed on there and let it soak and let it sit and uh we'll get pressure washer after it too <laughs> oh, so brandon we got the radiator washed and cleaned the but the best we could get it we more than likely need to put a new one on this thing at some point also so um kyla's uh her radiator is over here and she, she definitely needs a new one too you can see where the fan the fan oh, yeah, had got there. some of these flat yeah um unfortunately we don't have one here so uh we are going to be putting this back on um for the time being but uh, we will order we will get one of those hey did you need that what? oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> okay um the other thing uh we did also while we had the radiator out um uh our brand brandon and kyla did that they went ahead and changed these steering stem bushings here they, these are the for the pitman arm on the can-am renegade and um this one has a greasable bnr from our buddies at bnr it's got a, a greasable pitman arm and um but it's still it hasn't been changed I, when's the last time we changed that brand that bushing been a while we've never changed it. we've never I changed it know. ryan changed it yeah. uh, ryan or robert changed it one um so anyway we went ahead and changed that while while we had the radiator off just because it's a little bit easier to get to um you can change it without the door in the radiator but while the radiator was out we went ahead and changed it um easier. yeah it's a lot easier it had a little it had a little bit of play in it and you know your, your handlebars had a little bit of play so we decided we'd go ahead and um we decided we'd go ahead and change that so we're going back together with it now and um got to get these things put back together so they could so they can uh ride and test a little bit and then also they're doing this the the school this weekend or the the riding class this weekend and miss kyla ended up letting the uh the roll-offs take off on her so now yeah. she's having to roll everything back up they grew legs on them so it, it literally fell off the table and slinkied all the way down the floor so yeah. <laughs> so She's doing that. renegade all put together got the radiator back in it and we've got it uh we've got it uh doing a heat cycle in it and um 
anyway we're going to let it sit there until the fan turns on just so we assure ourselves that uh and that the it comes up the operating temperature and the fans coming on so uh, uh got all the plastic stuff here to put back on it Brandon and kyler are almost finished with this one here so we have uh we have about got accomplished the the radiator clean uh for for these two quads so they don't run hot uh, something that's very very vitally important and um just so uh you think they're clean but they're not clean when you pull them apart i should have showed you guys some of that out there when we washed it out uh it was like milky stuff which is from up north you know in the uh the dirt and the soil from up there but uh but anyway we're gonna get these things back together and uh, they're probably going to ride today. I think they was talking on the way home back from West Virginia that they wanted to actually ride a little bit. So, uh, but we had to get this done because the last time we raced those two four wheelers, that both of them ran warm. Although it is hot down here in Florida, and uh, our temperatures climb up a little bit. But uh, anyway, they're going to get them back together and probably go out there and take it for a ride. Uh, they haven't. Neither one of those kids has rode, ridden ATVs uh, since the last FTR that uh, they raced. Oh shoot, uh, I don't know, sometime in October. I think it was after Iron Man. Uh, we had a race the very next weekend after Iron Man, and I think that's the last time they've raced or ridden. So uh, listen, uh, off season's over pretty much, and uh, we gotta get back after it. So uh, that's what we got planned on doing. And um, uh, so, so they're gonna they're gonna try to get them together and go out there and take them for a ride and, uh, and just get back into the swing of things. And then th this week, uh, I think Brandon's got a couple of rides planned. Uh, we've got some GNCC friends coming down uh, that are staying for the winter. Uh, and I think he's planning on hooking up with some of those guys that are riding. And, uh, you know, some XC2 guys, uh, pro guy, and uh, whoever else wants to come down. So uh, Brandon will certainly take the opportunity to ride a little bit and, uh, and get some test sessions in. So. Um, anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Just wanted to show you guys a little bit about what we're doing and how we're getting things done. And uh, we look forward to start wrenching on these things. Um, probably going to go ahead and pull the 850 out over here this week. Get some video of that. You guys stay tuned for that. We're going to, uh, he crashed the, the 850 up at Iron Man. We have not repaired that four wheeler, nor have we tore it down. So we are going to be pulling that one out this week and get it tore down, looked at. Um, call our buddies at BNR get some parts coming for it and then uh the 1000 that brandon is racing for next season uh we are uh i think the powder coating is done we think uh, so anyway we're going to try to get up there and get that and get after that and get after that build for uh for his 2022 national uh gncc uh that is a 1000 don't know how that's going to work out and uh but we do have the 850 that he could fall back on if he doesn't like the 1000 so this is a 1000 here and he's been racing it locally in ftr uh, so anyway as always guys we appreciate you watching our videos and uh you guys stay tuned we got some uh some videoing coming up that we're we're getting ready to get back after it on this can am stuff and uh got my race car here um did not get the valve springs in this week but uh i'm gonna try to try to pro provide we get some time get all this stuff done i'm gonna go try to race that this saturday so uh you guys stay tuned we got some more videos coming out and uh as always guys like comment share and um we appreciate everything you guys do and i appreciate you guys for watching us